na hao bidi yako kwa hivyo ni vyema unapokuja katika nyumba ya Mungu jiwa ya kwamba hili jambo halitawahi saulika katika kumbukumbu na katika yani katika kumbukumbu la Mungu kuna mahala ambapo umejiwekea hazina katika jina la Yesu Kristo so ni vyema tuzidi kujitolea tuzidi kujipeana kwa Mungu tuzidi kujua ya kwamba yeye aliyeanza kazi njema ndani yetu saa hii tunaona viwanda zikifungwa tunaona watu wakipunguzwa hata kazini watu walikuwa wanafanya kazi walikuwa wamejitoa sana walikuwa wameona ya kwamba sasa mimi nimeajiriwa lakini inafika wakati ambapo wanapunguzwa inasemekana kuna watu wachache tu wanahitajika mpendo hata katika majira kama haya hata katika majira ambapo hakuna mwenye wako na uhakika ya kwamba kesho kutakuwa namna gani nataka nikuhimize nikwambie ya kwamba hata katika majira kama hayo tumaini lako wacha diwe ndani ya Kristo Yesu Bwana asifiwe wacha tumaini lako liwe ndani ya Yesu ni kwa sababu yeye ndiye ako na uweza yeye ndiye ambaye anatuinua kutoka utukufu moja hadi utukufu mwingine katika jina la Yesu Kristo ningependa tusome maandiko katika kitabu cha Isaia cha Isaia chapter 40 ningependa leo tuongee kuhusu kuhusu e, ndege mwenye anaitwa tai ya, waimbaji hata wameimba juzi wimbo wa, wanasema ya kwamba ruka kama tai ama fanya mambo kama tai lakini kuna zaidi ya hayo kuna kuinuliwa tena kuna kutembea ndani ya Kristo na Mungu anazidi kututendea mambo mema na mambo ya ajabu katika jina la Yesu Kristo ningependa tusome katika Isaia chapter 40 kuanzia verse 28 katika jina la Yesu kuanzia verse 28 Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28, 28 tunazidi kujifundisha where does our help comes from msaada wetu unatoka wapi katika jina la Yesu Kristo where does our help come from Isaiah chapter 28 kwa Isaiah chapter 40 kuanzia verse 28 samahani bibi nasema hivi have you not known wenye wamefika hapo ni swali limewekwa pale yani kuna alama ya swali have you not known have you not had the everlasting god the lord the creator of the ends of the earth neither faints nor is weary katika jina la Yesu Kristo ya kwamba je hamjawahi sikia je hamjawahi jua ya kwamba huyu Mungu aliyeumba hata misho ya dunia maandiko inasema ya kwamba the everlasting god the lord the creator of the ends of earth neither faints nor is weary katika jina la Yesu Kristo wapendwa tumeshuhudia tumeshuhudia watu wakitengana ambao walikuwa wameweka wameahidiana ya kwamba mimi nitatembea nawe mimi nitafanya kazi na wewe mimi nitafanya hivi na hivi hakuna kitakacho nitenganisha nawe tumeshuhudia watu wakiwa hata kama ni watoto wengine wana withdraw wanajipata ya kwamba sasa hawayuko katika kiwango chenye walikuwa hapo awali ni kwa sababu gani maandiko inatuliza je hata nani hamjawahi jua hamjawahi tambua ya kwamba huyu Mungu wetu aliyeumba bingu na inchi wapendwa na kuambia ya kwamba huyu Mungu akui controlled ama hazuidiwi hategemei vyenye watu wa dunia wanavyosema ategemei kanuni za dunia hii ategemei hata kusikia jinsi ambavyo watu wanavyotoa maoni lakini biblia inasema ya kwamba he is never weary yeye hachoki na wala hakati tamaa katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana asifiwe so katika maisha yetu ni vyema tujue na tukue na uhakika last sunday niliwaambia hivi ya kwamba ni vyema kujua ni nani huyu mwenye unajiunganisha na yeye 
ni nani huyu mwenye unayemtumikia ni nani huyu mwenye unayemfuata na asubuhi ya siku ya leo nimekuja nikwambie ya kwamba huyu Yesu maandiko inasema ya kwamba yeye hachoki na wala hakati tamaa katika jina la Yesu Kristo Daudi akatambua lile jambo na ndipo akaandika katika Psalms 121 kwamba nitainua macho yangu nitazame milimani msaada wangu utatoka wapi Wapendwa tumeona watu wakiwa misaada yao inatingizikwa kila mbapa pahala ambapo waliweka macho yao wakaweka matumaini yao imekuwa ni wakati wa dhiki imekuwa ni wakati ambapo hakuna chochote ambacho kinaonekana kikiwa chema lakini wacha nikwambia asubuhi ya siku ya leo bado kuna matarajio bado kuna matumaini bado kuna kuendelea usikate tamaa usikate tamaa kwa sababu ya yale ambao unaona siku ya leo Paulo katika Warumi anasema namna gani ya kwamba ile dhiki ile mambo yenye tunapitia saa hizi the afflictions zenye unaweza kuwa unapitia saa hizi ile uzito ile dhiki yenye unaweza kuwa unaiona ni kwa sababu unaipitia saa hizi haiwezi kalinganishwa na utukufu ambao utakao dhihirishwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So and ikawa huko katika uchungu. Ninaona mama wakati wenye ameingia pale katika delivery room. Ukweli ni kwamba ni wakati wake huo imefika, wakati wa dhiki, wakati wa kuugua, wakati wa uchungu, wakati wa kutia bidii. Lakini haiwezi linganishwa hiyo uchungu, hiyo kukazana haiwezi linganishwa na kide ambacho huwa anapokea haiwezi linganishwa na kipawa chenye yeye hutoka nacho pale kwa hivyo mpendwa usikate tamaa zidi kukazana jana mtumishi mmoja akasema ya kwamba ya kwamba kanisa lina nawiri wakati wa shida kanisa tunashinda wakati ambapo inaonekana ni kana kwamba hakuna kitu kinafanyika hiyo ndiyo wakati wenye tunashinda zaidi kwa hivyo mpendwa usikubali kutazama hali yako na ikudunishe Usikubali kutazama hali yako ikuvunje moyo lakini ni wakati tena wa kujipanguza mavumbi ni wakati tena wa kusimama na kusema niko na uhakika aliyeanzisha kazi njema ndani yangu yeye ni mwaminifu ataikamilisha katika jina la Yesu Kristo na ndipo nabii Zaya akawa anawauliza ya kwamba je hamujawahi sikia je hamujawahi jua ya kwamba huyu Mungu mwenye ameumba misho yote ya dunia kutoka juzi tumeonyesha vijana pale kabete wenye wanatoka pale wakienda KICC wakienda kutafuta kazi katika inchi za nje na nilikuwa naangalia wale watoto ni kweli wamekata tamaa wengine wanasema tumesoma lakini sijapata kazi wengine wanasema ninafika pale ninaitishwa pesa ninafika pale naitishwa ni kuwe na ujuzi na mstana moja akauliza basi siwatupe hii kazi ili tupate ujuzi So unaona ya kwamba kuna kungangana kwingi kuna hadi ambao watu wanapigana nayo kuna mapito ambao sio mazuri ambao mimi na wewe enda ikawa tunapita lakini asubuhi ya siku ya leo nataka nikuambie huyu Mungu mwenye ameumba micho na mwisho wa dunia maandiko inaniambia ya kwamba yeye hachoki na wala hakati tamaa kwa hivyo hata nawe ukiwa ndani ya Yesu mpendwa usikubali kuchoka usikubali kukata tamaa usikubali kusikia ni kana kwamba umeshindwa katika jina la Yesu ni kwa sababu kweli ni kwamba wakati ambapo unajihisi ya kwamba umefika mwisho hiyo ndiyo wakati ambapo ushindi wako unakaribia ushindi wako uko kwa mlango wakati ambapo unasikia ya kwamba umefika mwisho katika jina la Yesu Kristo maandiko inaendelea kusema hivi he gives power to the weak kwa hivyo hata kuwa weak inaruhusiwa ni kweli utakuwa mnyonge 
kwa sababu ya yale mambo ambayo unapitia lakini mpendo anakuambia hivi ya kwamba ni, ni vyema tumtegemee huyu Mungu tujue ya kwamba he gives power yeye hupatiana nguvu kwa wale ambao ni wanyonge katika jina la Yesu last sunday nilisema hivi ya kwamba katika john chapter 1 verse 12 maandiko inasema ya kwamba and to them that received him he gave them the power to become the sons of god mpendwa wewe ni mwana katika ufalme wa Mungu na kwa hivyo hata wakati unapojihisi ya kwamba mimi ni mnyonge hata wakati ambapo unajihisi ya kwamba sina nguvu hata ya kuendelea maandiko inasema ya kwamba huyu Mungu huyu Yesu huwapatia nguvu wanaojihisi wakiwa wanyonge katika jina la Yesu Kristo maandiko inaendelea kusema ya kwamba and to those who have no might he increases their strength hata wale ambao wanajiona ama wanaona matumaini yao yote hakuna maybe ume, umekuwa ukifanya biashara and ikawa umekuki umeajiriwa na unaonekana ya kwamba yani nikana kwamba hii biashara hata kama nimeajiriwa hapa nikana kwamba hatuna matumaini lakini wacha nikwambie jambo bibili nasema ya kwamba he increases his strength mungu atakuongezea nguvu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu atakuongezea nguvu katika jina la Yesu. Asubuhi ya siku ya leo nilikuwa nasoma maandiko ya kwamba blessed be the name of the Lord ambaye anafundisha yani he teach our hands to fight. Anafundisha mikono yetu kupigana vita na anafundisha hata vidole vyetu pia kupigana katika jina la Yesu. So mpendwa hauyuko peke yako kitu chenye nitakuhimiza ni kwamba stay connected to the power source yani kaa ukiwa umejiunganisha na you are source of power kaa ndani ya Yesu wacha Yesu akae ndani yako ni kweli wengine wataona kana kwamba uh, imekawia sana kuna mtu atakuangalia anaona aone ni kama we ulifogodha lakini wacha nikwambie ya kwamba kuna matumaini ni kwa sababu Mungu anasema ya kwamba he increases our strength katika jina la Yesu Kristo ukisoma katika Psalms 46 verse 1 na verse 2 Biblia huo inasema hivi tunaweza rifaa kidogo tunapoendelea nihimize katika hiyo wakati wa yani hilo neno ya kwamba Mungu huwa anatupatia his strength katika Psalms 46 verse 1 and verse 2 Psalms 46 verse 1 na verse 2 Biblia inasema namna gani ya kwamba God is our refuge and strength a very present help in time of trouble our god mungu wetu he's our refuge yeye ni ficho letu yeye yani ni kimbilio yeye ndiye nguvu yetu kwa hivyo hata izaia anaposema tunaposoma katika hiyo psalms 46 verse 1 na verse 2 tunajaribu kuunganisha hili neno ya kwamba wakati Mungu anaposema ya kwamba mimi ndiyo nguvu yako mimi nitakuongezea nguvu nataka uunganishe na hilo neno ya kwamba our god is our refuge tumeona watu wakijitafutia kuitanishwa na watu tumeona watu wakitafuta yani mtu akitembea na mtu mkubwa kumliko akitembea na mwenye ako na hela tu kidogo anaona nikana kwamba ako na nguvu lakini wacha nikwambie maandiko asubuhi ya siku ya leo inatuambia ya kwamba our god is our refuge he is our strength a very present help in time of trouble bwana asifiwe yani yeye ni msaada ni msaada wa karibu ni msaada wa saa hizo yeye hakuna wakati atakwambia hapana umechelewa mwimbaji juzi akaimba akasema nikiwa nawe Yesu sijachelewa nikiwa nawe Yesu sijachelewa hata kama sijaoa nikiwa nawe Yesu hata katika masomo yangu sijachelewa nikiwa nawe Yesu katika ndoa yangu najua ya kwamba sijachelewa 
ni kweli watu wengine wanawe unaweza watazama uone ya kwamba wameenenda mbali enda ikawa mulioneka na wao enda ikawa mulioa pamoja lakini wao wako na vitu zenye zinaonekana lakini wacha nikwambie ukiwa ndani ya Yesu mpendwa haujachelewa kwa kitu chochote ni kwa sababu he increases our strength yeye anatuongeza nguvu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Anatuongoza nguvu katika changamoto. Anatuongeza nguvu hata wakati ambapo tunajihisi ni kana kwamba hatutaendelea katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So ni vyema na, ni, na, na inapendeza sana tukijua ya kwamba nguvu yetu iko ndani ya Kristo. Na nimesema ni vizuri kukaa tukiwa tuko connected mpendwa usije ukajitoanisha usije disconnect katika Matthew chapter 15 uh, John chapter 15 ambayo inasema juu ya msabibu ulio kwe, ulio wa kweli juu ya baba ambaye ni msabibu nasi we are the branches Biblia inasema ya kwamba if any branch abides in me it shall bear more fruit Mpendo katika maja, majira ambao tunaishi iwapo utatambua hii siri ya kwamba hata kama kuna kilio pande zote hata kama watu wanasema ya kwamba ni kana kwamba haitawezekana juzi nimeona watu wakiwa wana, wanaongea wanasema kama tumesumbuka kwa miaka miwili je na tukiongezea miaka zingine tano tukiongezea miaka zingine saba kumaanisha ya kwamba watu wameingia yani katika maisha ambayo iko na uzito katika maisha ambayo iko na kukazana lakini they that wait upon the lord wal ambao wanaomjua Mungu ambao wanaomtambua wanajua ya kwamba their strength comes from the lord yani nguvu yao inatoka kwa Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana asifiwe msaada wetu nguvu yetu bidi yani wacheni nguvu zetu zikuwe ziko ndani ya Kristo na tujue ya kwamba bila Yesu hatuwezi fanya jambo lolote pasipo kumjua yeye pasipo kukaa ndani yake pasipo kumtegemea hatuwezi tukafanya jambo lolote sababu maandiko inatuambia ya kwamba he is a present help in time of trouble mpendwa tumekimbilia watu kwa muda mrefu tumewapendeza wengine tumeenda kuomba kazi mtu anakuambia ni sharti uhongane wengine wameenda kuomba kazi mwingine anakuambia ni sharti ufanye na mimi lakini wacha nikuambie ya kwamba kuna zaidi ya hizo vitu zote tumtegemee Kristo ambaye ako na nguvu ako na uweza wa kubadilisha hali zetu atatupatia majina mengine mapya atatuvua lile mavazi ambao taweza kuwa tumevalishwa na shida zetu atabadilisha majina yetu na kutupatia majina mengine katika jina la Yesu Kristo maandiko inasema namna gani tunapoendelea kusoma katika hiyo uh, Isaiah chapter 40 tuko katika verse 30 eh, bibi nasema hivi 40 uh, verse 30 Even the youth shall faint and be weary the young men shall utterly fail but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength Bwana asifiwe Kuna wakati nilisema tunasoma katika Isaiah chapter 30 uh, tuna chapter 40 na sahihi tuko katika uh, verse 30 tunasema hivi ya kwamba they that wait upon the Lord he shall renew their strength kuna wakati nilipeana hii mfano ya kugojea. Unajua hakuna kitu mzito kama kugojea. Sababu kugojea changamoto zake. Kugojea na changamoto zake. Kugojea wengine wanagojea wakiwa na furaha. Wengine wanagojea wakifanyia kazi. Wengine wanagojea katika machozi. Lakini Biblia inasema ya kwamba they that wait upon the Lord He shall renew their strength 
katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Sijui ni jambo gani hilo ambalo umeishi kuliombea, ambao umeishi kulitaja mbele za Bwana. Mpendwa asubuhi ya siku ya leo, nataka nikuhimize, nikwambie ya kwamba kuna matumaini, kuna nguvu katika kumgojea Yesu. Sababu amesema ya kwamba he will renew our strength. Kumaanisha hata yeye alijua ya kwamba tutaishiwa na nguvu tutaishiwa na nguvu mimi uona ya kwamba wakati unagojea tuseme ni parcel umetumiwa ama unagojea mtu mwenye amesafiri mwenye hajui kwenye anakuja kila basi kisimama kila gadi kisimama kila simu ikipigwa unataka kuangalia kama ni huyo mtu anataka kukwambia amefika lakini bibili atuambia namna gani they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Mpendwa usikate tama, usikate tama, usifunjike mwoyo. Ni kweli safari tumeanza tukiwa wengi. Lakini bibiri nasema ya kwamba, ni wale watakao mariza. Ni wale watakao mariza katika jina da Yesu Christo. So mi usema hivi, haijarishi tumeanza tukiwa watu wengi na mnagani. Lakini ukweli ni kwamba, mimi nitakimbia mbio yangu. Mimi nitatia bidi katika yote ambao ninayo yafanya. Ili nikaweza kutimiza, nikaweza kupokea kidi ambacho Christo ameniahidi katika jina da Yesu Christo. Kwa nasifiwe, ni kwa sababu hii safari siyo ya wanyonge ini ya watu wenye wameamua liwe liwalo katika jina la Yesu Kristo muimbaji akaimba akasema nimeamua kumfuata Yesu nimeamua kumfuata Yesu hata ije namna gani hata kuwe na mawimbi hata kuwe na shida hata kuwe na jambo la ina gani mimi nitamfuata Yesu katika jina da Yesu si upapas katika maisha yako ya kwamba hata kama watu wote wataniacha hata kama kida mtu watanikana wapendwa tumeishi tunaishi katika majira yenye unaona watu wakikataa watu wao watu wakikataa wali watu wakikataa hata waliofanya na wao kazi lakini asubuhi ya siku ya leo our strength is in the Lord Guvu yetu iko ndani ya Yesu Kristo na maandiko inasema ya kwamba he shall renew our strength katika jina la Yesu Kristo kubali kufanywa upya kubali kufanywa upya na angalia huyu mnyama anaitwa tai wakati kuna wakati ambapo wao inafika anaenda huko kwa miamba zidi ambazo ni kubwa kubwa anajitoa manyoya zote anatoa anagongesha hiyo biki yake kwa mawe mpaka inavunjika vunjika alafu sasa anagojea ame nyingine ame mabawa mengine ili aweze kuendelea katika jina la Yesu ninamuona tai tai mara mingi huwa anapaa juu ya changamoto anapaa kando na jinsi ambavyo hali ya anga inavyokaa Naamini kama kama juzi tulikuwa tunaonyesha kwa runinga jana Kisumu kumenyesha mvua ya mawe mvua yenye ilikuwa inararua mpaka mabati mvua yenye hata ngombe yenye ilinyeshewa ilirarua mpaka skini ya ngombe lakini nataka nikwambie mpendwa ya kwamba huyu Yesu ukikaa ndani ya Yesu Kristo maandiko inasema ya kwamba atakupatia nguvu ya kuenda hata zaidi ya hizo changamoto katika jina la Yesu Kristo tukijua ya kwamba kama jinsi ambavyo maandiko inavyosema ya kwamba it is not by might not by power sio kwa nguvu zetu sio kwa kujitolea kwetu sio sababu ya masomo yetu kusoma ni kuzuri lakini sio sababu ya masomo sio sababu ya kazi yenye uko nayo sio sababu ya biashara sio sababu ya kujulikana lakini ni kwa sababu ya kumjua Mungu ni kwa sababu ya kuweka tumaini letu ndani ya Kristo Yesu tukijua ya kwamba yeye ametuahidi ya kwamba tukimtegemea yeye tukimgojea yeye atafanya nguvu zetu upya bwana asifiwe tutanawidi hata wakati ambapo watu 
wana, yani, wakati watu wanaposhangaa unajua kuna wili, kufanya kuna wili na Mungu ni kama vyenye huwa tunasoma maandiko ya kwamba Mungu usababisha njia panapoonekana hakuna njia mtajaza hiyo form ya, ku, ya kutafuta kazi mkiwa wengi lakini mchungaji last sunday ametuambia ya kwamba our time to be shown favor wakati wetu wa kuonyeshwa kibali wakati wetu wa kuinuliwa umefika na kwa hivyo mpendwa ni vyema kimbia na hilo neno kimbia na hilo neno ya kwamba huyu Mungu atakutengenezea njia ambapo hakuna njia atasababisha mito hata katika jangwa Bwana asifiwe atasababisha mito katika jangwa utakuwa kama mti Psalms chapter 1 inasema hivyo ya kwamba huyu mtu ambaye amebarikiwa ambaye atembei katika njia za wasengenyaji huyu mtu ni kama mti ambao umepandwa kando ya mto huyu mti haunyauki hata kiangazi kuja namna gani mpendwa tupandwe ndani ya Kristo tukae ndani yake na tujue ya kwamba yeye aliyeianzisha kazi njema ndani yetu ni mwaminifu katika kuikamilisha usitoke katika uwepo wa Bwana Bwana asifiwe juu kitoka huko nje kuna maboeha huko nje kuna watu kuna mafisi kuna watu wa kidaina wamekugojea lakini tukikaa ndani ya Yesu Mwimbaji akasema ya kwamba nimeamua kumfuata Yesu hata kama ni kifo hata kama ni njaa hata kama ni kicheko hata kama ni dharao na ndio nimewaambia pia Warumi imeandikwa ya kwamba ile tiki yenye inaweza kuwa tunapitia saa hizi haiwezi linganishwa na utukufu wenye utadhihirishwa katika maisha yetu lakini kitu cha maana ni kugojea mugojee bwana mugojee bwana mugojee gojea Yesu Mugoje katika maombi, mugoje katika kusoma neno lake, mugoje katika katika kujinyima katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Maandiko inaendelea kusema namna gani? Ya kwamba they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall learn and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mpendwa tuzidi kukunywa katika kizima cha utakaso katika kizima cha Yesu katika kizima cha uhai katika jina la Yesu ni kwa sababu bibi inasema ya kwamba hawa ambao wanao mgojea Mungu watatembea lakini wata, hawatachoka hawatakata tamaa hawatakata tamaa katika jina la Yesu Kristo hata katika majira ambayo tunaishi ni majira ambazo wengi bado hata hata tabasamu ni shida lakini ukweli ni kwamba iwapo unazidi kumgojea Mungu iwapo umeweka tumaini lako mwimbaji akaimba nimetia nanga ndani ya Yesu Kristo na sitoki kwake kamwe katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa hivyo mpendwa zidi kumtegemea Kristo zidi kuweka tumaini lako ndani ya Kristo katika jina la Yesu Kristo na tuzidi kuzama katika wema wake tuzidi kuzama katika uwepo wake tuzidi kuzama katika kumpenda tukijua ya kwamba peke yetu hatuwezi jambo lolote mpendwa peke yako utashindwa lakini ukiwa ndani ya Kristo utaenda zaidi na utafanya zaidi katika jina la Yesu Kristo so wapendwa tuzidi kuhimizika ndani ya Yesu Kristo tukijua ya kwamba aliyeanzisha kazi njema ndani yetu yeye ni mwaminifu katika kuikamilisha katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Yeye ataikamilisha, ataikamilisha katika jina la Yesu. Na mimi ninajua ya kwamba haijarishi tutamaliza tukiwa wangapi, lakini they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength katika jina la Yesu. Lazima tutaingia katika pumziko lazima tutaingia katika kuinuliwa na Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo na ni sharti Mungu wetu ataonekana kwa hivyo ni wakati kanisa hata tubadilisha hali yetu ya kuomba tubadilisha hali yetu ya kuwa na imani ndani ya Kristo yani tuinue imani yetu 
ya kwamba sasa Mungu onekana onekana katika maisha yangu onekana katika kazi yangu onekana ninapotembea onekana ninaponena onekana ninapofanya kazi katika jina la Yesu Kristo na ninaamini ya kwamba Mungu atatushindania atatupigania ni kwa sababu yeye aliyeianzisha kazi njema ndani yetu atakuja kuikamilisha katika jina la Yesu. Hii safari si ya watu wenye wanarudi nyuma, si ya watu wenye wanaona ni kana haiwezekani. Lakini ni ya wale ambao wanatambua ya kwamba ndani ya Kristo he shall renew my strength. Yaani yeye ndiye anayenifanya upya kila siku. Ana ya nguvu zangu kuwa mpya kila siku katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So Mungu atusaidie sana, Mungu atujalie neema na atujalie kibali chake katika jina la Yesu. Na kitu cha maana mpendwa, usikate tamaa. Usikate tamaa katika jina la Yesu. Hata ukijipata uko peke yako, usikate tamaa. We endelea kumuitia kuliitia jina la Bwana ni kwa sababu yeye yuko pamoja nawe katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So Bwana wabariki sana, azidi kutendea mambo mema, azidi kutuinua na hata kutupeleka kutoka utukufu hadi utukufu ni kwa sababu hivyo ndivyo ambavyo ametuahidi ya kwamba he's going to take us from one glory to the other katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa hivyo mfanye kuwa kimbilio lako mfanye kuwa tegemeo lako na bila shaka hautahaibika katika jina la Yesu Kristo so nitamkaribisha mchungaji ili tukaingia katika sehemu nyingine katika jina la Yesu Kristo continue waiting upon the Lord continue depending on him katika jina la Yesu sababu he is our strength he is our present help in time of trouble katika jina la Yesu Kristo na naamini ya kwamba Bwana atatusaidia atatusaidia kuenda from one glory to another katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tuweke mikono yetu pamoja tunapopiga makofi yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo na naamini ya kwamba Bwana ni mwema in Jesus name. Amen. We are blessed in the name of Jesus continuing trusting upon the Lord, continuing waiting upon the Lord. Them that wait upon the Lord their strength shall be renewed in Jesus name. It's my prayer that your strength will be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. And therefore just to add on, on what we have been learning and what we are continuing to learn because in his presence there is fullness of joy. In his presence we are renewed. In his presence we are blessed mightily katika jina la Yesu. Just lift up your hands as we are waiting for the Lord. Just continue waiting upon him. Waiting is it's not an easy thing, but by the strength of the living God, kwa uwezo wa mungu, unaweza ukastaimili, unaweza ukangojea, unaweza, unaweza ukatoboa katika jina la Yesu Christo. Buwana kusaidie, ata mwili wa karinsa, mwili wa Christo, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Napolis everlasting Lord, that even the youth, ata vijana wanaweza kosa, wanaweza zimia, lakini wanao kungojea. Leo tunakungojea buwana katika jina la Yesu. Even this year, Dear Lord, we still continue waiting upon you, for there is a hope in you, in the name of Jesus. And I want to share with us that uh, the things that uh, that enable us as to the nafanya to cause kungojea, things that make us even not to wait, is when in life, in one way or the other, when we face rejection. Hallelujah. Wakati unakumbana na, na rejection. Wakati unakumbana, unakutana na hali ya kukataliwa. But I want to tell you this. Ka, taking rejection positively. Hallelujah. Take rejection positively. You nichukwe in a positive way. Na tunapo soma, even in the Bible, in Matthew chapter, Matthew what? Matthew chapter 21. Let's go to Matthew chapter 21 and verse 42. Jesus said to them, have you never read the scriptures? So, one thing that I want to bring to our attention, it is good to be reading the word of the living God. Hallelujah. It is good to be Bible readers in the name of Jesus. Let's read the word of the Lord. Even before you come to the church, before you come to the house of worship, keep reading, be reading, because it is out of the word of the Lord that this is our manual. Hallelujah. 
This is our manual. Anything you buy, anything, if you want to make you good use of this life, always refer to the manual, which is the word of the living God. Jesus Christ said, uh, he said to them, I'm in Matthew chapter 21 and verse 42. Have you never read in the scriptures? Hallelujah. So let's invite the Holy Spirit in our life whenever we are reading the word of the Lord to help us. Not just to read because I'm coming here to preach. Not to read because I'm invited to be a minister. Not to read, but read it for your personal benefit. Hallelujah. Like what we have just been taught this morning from the book of Isaiah chapter 40. That even the youths, hallelujah, even the youths, it means uh, people can get tired. People can get tired of waiting. People can get tired of the of the of the governance of the day. People can get tired of the salary that they are earning. Means there the are reasons, there are things that will make you get tired. But the Bible is saying this. Uh, Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone? Hallelujah. This was the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. So the point I'm bringing home, let's take rejection positively in the mighty name of Jesus. For we know the end result. What they rejected today is the cornerstone for the future in the mighty name of the living God. Taking rejection positively. Hallelujah. So just in your mind, in your way or whatever is happening. Maybe you have tried this and that and things are not working. Hallelujah. We all face rejection in one way or the other. Even right now, if a time could allow me to take questions and to take uh, uh, comments from you, you can tell me in one way or the other. Even this year, you have faced the rejection in one way or the other. Hallelujah. And rejection can come from very, very close friends. Hallelujah. What does he feel? Rejection can come from very, very close friends. Rejection can come even from close family members. Family members, hallelujah. Family members, even from children. And that is why when we read the scriptures in the book of Malachi chapter number, the last chapter of chapter, which is chapter 4, and even verse 5 and 6, it says uh, to reconcile, to bring back the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers. That means that at one point of life, maybe there is that being set apart, hallelujah. Ama kutengamana, unapitia ile halia, ya kukataliwa watoto wanakataa wazazi wao wazazi wanakataa watoto wao haleluya watu watakataa majukumu ambao wamepatiwa lakini leo asubuhi nimekuja kukuambia kwamba hii hali pia tunapoitazama on a positive way tutapata matokeo mazuri hauta faint hautazimika utakata tamaa katika taking rejection positively we all face rejection at one at some point in our lives hallelujah what will you watarajia hawako tena what will you tumaini walio kusema we will support you we will stand with you wakati nafika kwamba they are no longer there to be seen hallelujah but in the bible rejection is a very very powerful tool hallelujah rejection is a very very powerful tool hallelujah Kwa Biblia is a very, very powerful tool. And as I'm going to give you share with us some scriptures here, you will be able to understand uh, that uh, rejection is a powerful tool in the Bible and is, 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 is something that many believers will encounter. While we kneel to encounter, hallelujah. Most of the people, even Jesus in one point, uh, he was rejected. People wanted to stone him, hallelujah. What is as if you were? But, but one of the most profound forms of rejection, it is also spiritual. Hallelujah. Hata katika ulimwengu wa kiroho, unezona tu watu wanakata, watu wanasusia. Lakini nataka kukuanesha kwamba, ikiwa tutamu invite mungu, ikiwa tutaona mapenzi makusudio ya mungu pale mbele, tutafrahia na tutaona matokeo yake katika jina la Yesu. Yesu mwenyewe aliwai pitia kukataliwa. Na tumeona hiyo katika Matthew chapter, chapter 21 and verse 42. Matthew 21 verse 42, which is also a reflection of Psalms in the Old Testament. Katika agano la kale, sazaburi miyamoja na kuminanane. Mustari huo ni wa, wa 22, 23. Psalms 118 
verse 23 and 20, 22 and 23. Jesus refers to himself as the stone the builders rejected that has, that has become the cornerstone. Despite being rejected by religious leaders and even many people of his time, Jesus' rejection was part of God's greater plan for salvation. Hallelujah. When we see rejection in the eyes of God, tunapoona kwamba ile jiwe wa watoashi walikata, sasa imekuwa jiwe la pembeni. Na iko katika gano la kale na iko pia katika gano jipya. Taking rejection positively. Another scripture that was encouraging me this morning is from the book of uh, Isaiah. Isaiah in chapter 53. Yaani baka jina yake anauzishwa anafananishwa na shida anafananishwa na matatizo wakati uja, uja, uja faulu sana unaona unafananishwa na, na shida so, uh, let's see that let's see that in Isaiah uh, same Isaiah 53 Isaiah 53 even from verses uh, from verse number 3 this is what the bible says hallelujah Isaiah 53 and verse number 3 he is despised and rejected by men a man of sorrows acquainted with grief we hid as it were our faces from him he was despised and we esteemed him not biblia inasema kwamba yesu mwenyewe alikataliwa yani alikuwa in shida alionekana mtu wa mashida hallelujah kwa hivyo nje nyingine ni kwamba unapopitia shida kuna watu watakukataa hallelujah Yaani ukifanya hii watu wanakukataa. Ukijaribu hii watu wanakukataa. Biblia inasema kwamba yeye pia alipuuziliwa. He was despised. Kupuuziliwa. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini wale mtulikuwa hapa maybe last Sunday naweza nikarudia haya. Kuna jambo nilisema kwamba kuna erufi H4 4F in the Bible. Hallelujah. 4F Herufu F ni dazitumia zikiwa F ine Moja yazo ni eh, Ni falsely accused Wapendo katika hii maisha Hata ufanya na mnagani Kuna wakati tu watu watakuekelea False Falsely accused Watu wataku, watatoa tu uvumi Uvumi mahali Ama jambo tu Na wabe ilikuwa na dimefanyika hivi Falsely accused Wana sifiwe So hiyo ni F ya kwanza falsely accused. Kitu inaweza fanyika tuseme a flani you are just falsely accused. And then F ya pili when they are for accused you they start they start for forsaking you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be forsaken ni kusema hata sasa wakupigi simu, hata sasa wataki mahusiano na wewe kwa sababu umeshakuwa falsely accused then the f number two, you become for a second hallelujah jesus sometimes he was for a second baka kauliza mungu wangu mungu wangu hallelujah where are you bwana yesu asifiwe i'm trying to to attention let's take everything positively we don't walk by sight we walk by faith hallelujah So taking things in a positive way. Number one, falsely accused. Number two, when they have accused you, the next F, they will forsake you. And the third F, if you attack you, they will now start forgetting you. You know when you are forsaken, simu napata maramoja kwa mwezi. Hallelujah. When they have forsaken you, hata jia ya kukutembelea, zinaanza kupunguka. Hallelujah. Panesha sifiwe. Lakini lianza na nini? Accusation. Yaani wanadhani ni dhana tu anawaza tu huyu mtu yaani kuna tu kitu accusation na inatembea katika mawazo haleluya whether umesikia ama hujasikia lakini utawajudia kuna falsi f4 ya kwanza ni falsi accused f ya pili ni for for a second they start for a sake you wanaweza kukupita hata bila salamu haleluya <laughs> bana sifiwe baka unajiuliza kameni hata salamu za Mungu ziliisha wapi sababu imef, ya kwanza ni accusation hallelujah huyu anakulaga pesa zetu huyo hakufanya yani nasa tu nowhere hallelujah <laughs> bwana sifiwe that is why we say rejection sometimes is a spiritual matter is something in the spiritual realm hallelujah bwana yesu sifiwe so if you are following me i've said f ya kwanza falsely accused 
accusation to ah ah hiyo guo hata imfai hallelujah utasikia tu hiyo guo ah bali anakaa accusation come and then number two, they forsake you number three, you you, you, you go through through forgotten it. they forget you ndio nimesema yesu akasema mungu wangu mungu wangu mbona umeniacha hallelujah wanaweza sifiwe but the last f which is the fourth one is favor hallelujah favor favor of god what is as if you were favor turn with me the same same isaiah isaiah chapter 16 uh, 16 and even verse number 10 and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee for in my wrath I smote thee. Wangalia yo part B. In my wrath I smote thee. Hallelujah. Katika gadabu zangu, katika asira zangu. Hallelujah. Aliku neglect ama I for smote thee. But in my favor I have had mercy on thee. Kwa hivyo kuna kibali cha Bwana, kuna neema, kuna kibali, kuna favor ya Mungu. Na niposa tunasema katika msai wa kumi na moja sasa Milango zako zitabaki zikiwa wazi Ili kibali, aleluya Kibali cha buwana Iwatu wakulete utajiri Wakulete mali Lakini kwa jia moja ma nyingine Bibili nasema In my wrath and for a second V So ninakuambia Hayo erufi ine is a F Tunayona takatika maisha ya Yusufu Tunasema kwamba Rejection inatokana na watu wa karibu sana Inatokana na watu wenye unafanya kazi pamoja na hao Tudawaita colleagues Rejection inatoka kwa watu wa familia Rejection inatoka even to friends Through friends But take these things positively Nisikiza na unisikiza vizuri Take these things positively Because the stone That the builders rejected Has now become The chief cornerstone Hallelujah Na tunaona katika maisha ya Yesu In Isaiah 53 Isaiah 53 and even verse number 3 Yani he is despised And apiteyo for a second He was for a second He was despised Ali daraoliwa Ali temewa mate Wanaita kwamba On a man of sorrows Mutu wa mashida Hallelujah Wanesu asifiwe So the same thing Joseph Alipitia hayo Yusufu anasalitiwa na dugu zake Kwani wendi unaotaka peke yako Kwani wendi baka wanaperekea baba yake ripoti Baka mwishoe wanamuhusa Hallelujah So unaona hizo erufi ine Ziko in your life In one way or the other So the point I'm bringing home Wewe uneza kosa kusubiri Uneza kosa kuwait upon the Lord Wakati unapitia rejection Hallelujah Na utafute kujitetea Na utafute kujitia kifua mpele Do that I see it being positive thing in the mighty name of the living God. Katika jina la Yesu. See rejection in a positive way. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Staking rejection positively. So Jesus himself, he was despised and rejected. Man of suffering. A familiar with pain. Familiar with pain. Yeye anauzishagwa akishida anauzishagwa na uchungu. Hallelujah. This shows that rejection, though it is painful, can be a, a path. Ineza kuingawaje ni uchungu wapendwa, hallelujah. Laki mungu aneza itumia kwa jia zetu, kulete baraka katika jia zetu. Point ya pili ni hivi, there is always divine purpose. Kula kuwaga na makusudio mazuri kwa sababu ya hiyo kukataliwa. Mwanezo asifiwe, hallelujah. Kuna kitu mungu anatengeneza katika maisha yako Anaeka masos in your life Let's look at Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 Romans chapter 8 and verse number 28 Hallelujah Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 This is what the Bible See that there is always a divine purpose Kuna kuwaga na makusudio mazuri Kuna kuwaga na wazo mzuri ya mungu Bile nyawezi yona kwa mtazamo ya macho ya dunia Hallelujah Wanesa shifuwe sana Na Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him Hallelujah Underlined in all things So all things including what I'm going through today Hallelujah 
including the rejection I'm going through today, it will work for my favor. It will work for my good. It will let a good result. Hallelujah. What is this if you were? Sikia kama hao vijana tu wameenda pale wako wengi unasikia timu nyingine kwa ikataliwa kwa sababu ya ndevu haleluya akaambiwa wewe enda kwanza uko na vitu zote lakini enda unyoe ndevu yani anakataliwa tu kwa sababu ya maumbile yake haleluya kwa sababu tu ya ndevu anakataliwa <laughs> amen <laughs> Lakini tuseme mimi nikiwa katika hiyo hali ninaangalia na furaha ninacheka ninafurahi haleluya sifurahi kwa sababu niko na mamilioni ya pesa sifurahi kwa sababu niko na followers wengi sifurahi kwa sababu niko na na ibada ishirini haleluya furaha yangu ninajua kwamba hata hii yenye ninapitia saa hii ikiwa ni neno la Bwana na ndiposa tulianza kusoma vile Yesu aliwaambia katika Matthew chapter chapter 21 Aliwa, haven't you read in the scriptures na mimi nimekuletea ujumbe leo hujawahi sikia kwamba mambo yote yanatendeka kwa wema there is a divine purpose haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe pia hata katika taifa la Kenya hii mambo inapitia sijui ni impeachment sijui ni nini inaendelea sijui twende kotini mimi ninaangalia hata katika hii mambo yote kuna Mungu atajidhihirisha kuna jambo Mungu anataka kutufundisha so mimi siangalii na macho ya dunia haleluya mimi sisemi ati mlima imetingizwa ati usiguze wapi ama nini i want to see god even in this thing that is happening today there is a divine purpose kuna jambo Mungu anaambia kanisa la Kenya. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mingine aniambia kwani maaskofu wa wakuona, maaskofu wa wakujua, ndio ni kweli, lakini mimi nataka kukaa upande wa Mungu. Hata hii hali yenye tunapitia saa hizi, it will work for my goodness in Jesus name. All things rejection can be a source of divine redirection. Divine redirection. Mungu akatu chini angalia kwa hii jambo linapitia Mungu una makusudio gani haleluya God often uses rejection to redirect believers his will haleluya kwa mapenzi ya Bwana haleluya siwone mapenzi ya Bwana katika hali yako sasa hivi Joseph story katika Genesis 37 to 50 37 38 39 Joseph story nimekugusia nime pale mbeleni unaona mwisho ilitendeka kwa mambo mazuri jambo la tatu kwa hivyo kama unafuata kama unazi take notes if you are following and taking notes together with me the rejection one point of rejection is this that rejection is a, even Jesus himself was rejected hallelujah amen and i think there is a scripture i read to us uh, which is this Is it in Luke he said that walinikataa ukiona wanakukataa ukiona wanakuchukia ujue kwanza walinichukia kwanza haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe ujue kwanza walinichukia kwanza Those of us who have taken us which is it Luke or Matthew chapter what Haleluya Are you there Bwana Yesu asifiwe If they hate you it's because they hated me first. Hallelujah. If they reject you ni kwa sababu hata nami walinikataa kwanza. Kwa hivyo usidhanie hii dunia kila kitu itakuwa ni hallelujah amina. Katika one point of the life you will face rejection. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. They hated him first. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. John John 15 verse 18. Are we there? Let's read it together those of us who have found it. John 15 and verse 18. The scriptures. Haven't you read in the scriptures? So I'm encouraging you this morning. If the world hates you, ye you know that it hated me, it hated me before it hated you. Hallelujah. If you were of the world, the world would love his own but because you are not of the world i have chosen you out of the world therefore the world hated you dunia itakuchukia hallelujah what is as if you were so have a smile here amen by the way if you go to 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 the other world 
eh, what penda kuwa fame but fame is a demonic wa, wa, is, a, is demonic hallelujah unataka kuwa celebrity you want to be famous so utafanya vitu changili changili because you want to be famous you want, you want to be a celebrity hallelujah Unezaanza kuimba nyimbo za dunia, sasa unaanza kuimba, yani uli nyimbo za gospel, sasa unataka kuimba nyimbo za dunia, ndio u trend, ndio uwe famous. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, shetani anakuja kumjaribu Yesu anamwambia, if you I will give you all this, dunia na kuru yote inakuwa yako. You want to be famous because una yani na kuru yote, Kenya yote. Hey, that is demonic. Hallelujah. The world will not love you. If we stick to holiness, to kika katika utakifu, dunia itaku reject. Hallelujah. Ukiona kila muto na kupigia makofi, kila muto na kushangilia, kila muto na sema ni wewe, wewe ndiyo kidole, wewe ndiyo hapo. Ujue question. Hallelujah. So as we don't go by sight, we don't go by the celebrity. Apana, wacha mungu atipatia utikufu. Na niposa tunachalenjiwa kwamba, if the world hate you, John chapter 15 verse 18. If the world hate you, ujue kwamba. So I've come here to encourage you. Kukutia ngufu. Because vile tumesomewa, unaona hiyo tie. Hallelujah. By the way, the life of a tie, ye uwa na faulu katika changamoto. Hallelujah. Vua ikinyesha the storms. Even in the storms, he is able to maneuver. He is able to go up high. Hallelujah. Even the tie, ata chakula zake, utaona anakulaga vitu fresh, awezi kula vitu zimekufa, hallelujah. And for you to eat fresh things, my friend, there is a life you have to face. So number one, I said, even Jesus himself faced rejection. So there is a divine purpose of God, kwa sababu hiyo. Na ametuambia, the world hated him first. Number two, there is always a divine purpose. Kuna kuwaga na makusudio ya kiungu. Hallelujah. Makusudio ya kiungu. Situone mutasama makusudio ya kiungu wata leo. Jambo la tatu, God will use rejection as a refinement tool. Hallelujah. As a tool of refinement. Yani silaha. Waneza sife sana. Ya refinement. Refinement ni kama vile dhahabu, aywezi kuwa dhahabu, baka ipitishiwe kwa moto. Wapendo ni mekunja kutangaza Moto ingine tunapitia Ni kuundua tunaundua Hallelujah ha? Kuna muibaja kaimba Kwa nini ukarusu ni pitie haya Hallelujah Hii moto yenye tunapitishwa Ninajua mwisho yake pale Tutatoka tukiwa dhahabu in Jesus name Rejection God will use rejection As a tool of refinement James chapter 1 Verse 2 Hallelujah To 4 Let's go there. James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Hallelujah. Unapopitia majaribio hi, ukimaliza hi, ingine mekuja. Unatoka hi, ingine mengia. Knowing that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Hallelujah. What is as if you were? So majaribio ingine utapitia, ili uwe refined. Hallelujah. Kurifainua ni kama kuchemushua, ili uivishwe, ili upikike, ili uwe umeiva, umekoma katika china la yesu. Hallelujah. Chuma, haiwezi kanolewa chuma zingine, haiwezi kakunjua, baka ipitisho kwa moto. Hallelujah. So count it that it is a refinement, ni tool, ni silaha, kukataliwa kuingine. Hallelujah. Wana sifiwe. Wale wamekua katika military. Hallelujah. Training ya kutolewa uraia. Training ya kutolewa, ya kutolewa udunia ni uraia. Sio raisi. Hallelujah. Dio hiyo refinement. Unapati, una, unapitishwa katika refinement. Kuna matusi, kuna majina, kuna mazoezi unafanyishwa. Hallelujah. Kuna kuingine unatembea, umepewa bag. Iyo bag, ukiona nguo mavazi ya mwanajeshi. Iko na mifuko mingi sana. Hallelujah. Ukiana ile bag inaitagwa raksak. Iyo bag iko na mishipi, iko na nini. Lakini zote, wakati wanatoka kwa station, ama katika training camp, na wanambiwa for the next one week, mutakuwa katika jangwa. Hallelujah. 
na amepewa bunduki zote ako na ile kidogo na ile mrefu ako na risasi ako na nini hiyo training na ako na chakula ako na maji haleluya <laughs> bwana yesu asifiwe so ile maji zimejaa lakini sio maji akitembea tu moja anakunywa maji lita moja haleluya wale mumeona wale wanakimbia marathon wale wanakimbia hizo mbio za muda mrefu kuna kuanga na watu wamejipanga kando ya barabara wanawapatia maji lakini ile maji hawezi akaikunywa yote ni kuzip tu kidogo haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe in a require a refinement because wezi ka pale na lita 20 ya maji unakunywa that is you are then you are not yet trained kuna chakula wamejijima haleluya scoundrel red god will use rejection kuna chakula zingine utakataa haleluya kuna maongeo ngine utakataa kuna mavazi ngine utakataa ukijua ni refinement mungu anaitumia so brethren James chapter 1 verse 2 and to 4 My brethren count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation knowing that this that the trying of your faith worketh patience but the let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing hallelujah so it is a refinement Bwana sifiwe also check with me in first peter First Peter chapter 1 also 6 to 7 Wherein ye greatly rejoice though now for a season if it need be ye are he heaviness through manifold temptation the trial of your faith being much more precious than a gold that perish though though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Christ hallelujah action can be an act of refining fire that tests and strengthens our faith hallelujah believers are called to see trials and rejection as opportunity to grow in faith and be purified for greater spiritual resilience hallelujah Amen. So katika hiyo hatua kuna vitu zingine unaona kwa usione usigeuke nyuma, usiadhe kurudi nyuma, usiadhe kutafuta kuwa fem. Hallelujah. And number four, point number four, rejection happens in also in ministry. Hata katika huduma inafanyika. That is what we read in John chapter 15. Rejection also happens in ministry. Hallelujah. Jesus warned his disciples. Bwana Yesu asifiwe katika huduma Bwana Yesu asifiwe number 5 we should respond to rejection with love tunafaa kuyatazama kwa njia ya mtazamo haleluya amen luke chapter 6 verse 27 to 28 jesus teaches believers to love your enemies enemies do good to those who hate you bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you even when Even when we face rejection from others especially our faith for our faith we are called to respond with love yes and kindness this reflect the heart of Christ who forgive those who rejected and crucified him hallelujah what else as if you were from chapter 12 of verse 19 and 21 Paul instruct believers not to seek revenge hallelujah what else as if you were So I believe you are encouraged this morning. The way to handle rejection is to know your identity in Christ. Kujua wewe ni nani. Tai anachuaga yeye ni nani. Tai hawezi akashiriki. Tai hawezi akakaa na vikundi vingine. Tai anakuwa very unique. Tai anahakikisha amepanda huko juu. <laughs> na one of the advantages of ego, chakula yake haiko huko juu. Chakula ya ego iko huko chini. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe na amepewa macho yeye anaiona hata kama ni samaki by the way tai wanakula mpaka samaki lakini akiwa huko juu akiwa juu ya mlima kabisa anajua na akikuja asha anakuja kama amelenga lile chakula chake bwana Yesu asifiwe haleluya si Mungu atusaidie wapendwa so we are talking about the ego and our strength to be renewed
And I want you, the things that will make you not your strength to be renewed. Ni wakati unanza ku, kuona mapito enyo napitia. Na kama ni kweli ni kona ingufu. Nini ni napitia haya katika china la yesu. Hallelujah. See, may God help us. I want to invite worship team. Let's, let's praise the Lord. And as we are doing the praise, hallelujah. Thank you even those who are following us. Even those who are online. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Jude, we can go off in Jesus name. Hallelujah. What is as if you were? So, tuna watu na ibada, tuna pendelea pia, tuna ibada, wala mbao pia wako na sisi online and their part. And we bless the Lord in Jesus name. So, praise and worship team. Karibuni tu usifu buwana. Karibuni tu ingie katika sifa. Na itakuwa ni abaraka sana in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, praise and worship team. Tapo pika pata sifa eh, Pia tutakuwa tunatoa matoleo yetu Tika jina la yesu Ametenda mema Uyu yesu ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasipa Ametenda mema Uyu yesu ndiyo mana mimi Na muinu wa metenda mema Uyu yesu ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ametenda mema Uyu yesu ndiyo mana mimi Na muinu wa metenda mema Mesha imwangu ndiyo mana mimi Na muinu wa metenda mema Uyu yesu ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ametenda mema Wana yesu Baba yuda ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ametenda mema Uyu yesu ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ndiyo mana mimi leo Na mpasifa Ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ndiyo mana leo mimi Na mpasifa Ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ndiyo mana leo sisi tuwa Na mpasifa Ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ametenda mema Huyu yesu Ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ametenda mema Uyu yesu ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ameni inuwa Mana wa mungu ndiyo mana leo mimi Na mpasifa Ametenda mema Uyu yesu ndiyo mana mimi Na mpasifa Ona iwe iwe shangwe Na iwe iwe shangwe Na iwe iwe shangwe Na iwe iwe shangwe Shangwe, na iwe iwe shangwe, na iwe iwe shangwe, na iwe iwe 
mana ya su nai wei wei shangwe 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 nai wei wei mana ya su nai wei wei shangwe 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 shangwe de bikele kele kwa bwana haleluya makofi ukichezea bwana Yesu haleluya cheza 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 kwa bwana Yesu tembea tembea Yesu tembea tukuone tembea tembea Yesu tembea tukuone tembea kwa uwepo wako tuseme tumekuona Ana iwe iwe, 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 ana iwe iwe,
Nere mo na iwe iwe shangwe. Na iwe iwe shangwe na iwe iwe shangwe. We no niwe bo na wama bo na. We no niwe ume tenda me ma. We no niwe bo na wama bo na. We no niwe ume tenda me ma. We no niwe bo na wama bo na. We no niwe. Send a me ma. We no liwe, but now I'm a man. We no liwe, we met and a me ma. I no liwe, but now I'm a boy. I no liwe, I no liwe, I met and a me ma. I no liwe, but now I'm a man. I no liwe, I met and a me ma. Met and a me ba. Hallelujah, Unaweza pigi ya bwana Yesu makofi ya juu yeye ametutendea mambo mema hata kufika hapa ni bwana Yesu Inua Yesu inua Yesu inua Yesu inua Yesu juu Uinuliwe bwana wa mabwana Uinuliwe umetenda mema Uinuliwe bwana wa mabwana Uinuliwe umetenda mema Tukurukia bwana wa mabwana Uinuliwe umetenda mema Uinuliwe bwana wa mabwana Uinuliwe umetenda mema Umetenda mema Umetenda mema Umetupa afya Umetenda mema Umetupa ndoa Umetenda mema Umetenda mema Umetenda mema Umetenda mema Umetenda mema Gai wako we monene Gai wako we monene Gai wako we monene Kwa wenga hiye Gai wako we monene Gai wako we monene Gai wako we monene Gai wako we wenga hiye Gai wako we monene Gai wako we monene Gai wako we monene Gai wako we wenga hiye Gai wako we monene Gai wako we monene Gai wako we wenga hiye Gai wako ne monene, gai wako ne monene, gai wako ne monene, gai wako we gai. Oh gai wako ne monene, gai wako ne monene, gai wako ne monene, gai wako ne gai. Gai wako ne monene, gai wako ne monene. Gai wako ni munene, gai wako wengai Gai wako ni munene, gai wako ni munene Gai wako ni munene, gai wako ni wengai Haleluya rukia yesu, rukia yesu Kina moja cheza cheza kwa bwana yesu, haleluya Deina gena gai wako they not get a guy walk. They not get a guy walk. Matuko makwa mothe. They not get a guy walk. They not get a guy walk. Matuko makwa mothe. They not get a guy walk. Guy walk. Goro gera gai wakwa Goro gera gai wakwa Hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Matupo matupo. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Unaweza bana wa mabwana. Wewe unaweza. Unaweza bana wa mabwana. Unaweza. Unaweza bana wa mabwana. Wewe unaweza. Unaweza bana wa mabwana. Unaweza. Hallelujah kina moja dance kwa Yesu. Chezea bana Yesu. Hallelujah. Cheza, 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 cheza kwa Yesu Unaweza, bwana wa mabwana Wewe unaweza Unaweza, bwana wa mabwana Unaweza Takuinua, bwana wa mabwana Wewe takuinua Takuinua, bwana wa mabwana Mabwana, taku inua, taku inua, bana wa mabwana, taku inua, taku inua, bana wa mabwana, taku inua, taku chese ya bana wa mabwana, taku chese ya, taku chese ya bana wa mabwana, taku chese. Takuchezea Takurukia bwana wa mabwana Takurukia Takuinua bwana wa mabwana Takuinua Takuinua bwana wa mabwana Takuinua Takuinua bwana wa mabwana Takuinua 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 bwana wa mabwana Takuinua Hallelujah pigi ya bwana yesu Kofi ya juu Piga makofi ya juu Hallelujah Inua yesu inua yesu inua yesu inua yesu Kina moja cheze ya bwana yesu Hallelujah Oklo Jehova Oklo 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 Jehova Oklo Oklo Jehova Oklo Oklo Jehova Oklo Oklo Jehova Oklo Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
eh, tumeulizwa eh, yote angependa kwenda tu, tu, atuambie mapema uh, ili tupeane ya namba zao huko maana itakuwa tarehe 29 kalenda tarehe 29 na 30 eh, which will be on a Friday and Saturday of next month bwana sifiwe November tarehe 29 and 30 will be there mtu anikonfirmie Friday and Saturday the last the last last weekend last week is a date za mwisho 29 and 30 29 should be Friday and eh, 30 it is Saturday bwana isa sifiwe of November na tunaenda mali pale ah wenye ungependa kwenda kila kanisa tumeombwa kutuma 2000 2000 kwa sababu ya 2000 shillings kwa sababu ya maandalizi kando na mtu kujigaramia transport lakini kila kanisa tunafaa kutuma 2000 kwa sababu ya maandalizi maana hizo siku mbili ni kusema uh, wachungaji na viongozi watu talala mali pale kwa hivyo itashughulikiwa na pia chakula ya mali pale kwa hivyo tusaidiwe uh, yeyote angependa kusimama na hiyo uh, na pia kwenda na nafasi bwana Yesu asifiwe sana so on a Friday of 20 Friday of 29th that is next month so we are supposed to submit na kutuma hizo uh, na pia itakuwa ni ya baraka sana on 29th and 30th so ningependa twende mali pale na itakuwa ni ya baraka sana kwa sababu ya viongozi wanaweza sipe sana pastors and church leaders ama viongozi na pia kila kanisa ya the people's church tunatoa 2000 kusimamia zile gharama ambazo zitakuwa mali pale katika jina la Yesu na pia kama December December bado tuna mkutano tumealikwa pale this is a special meeting wa well, last week tulikuwa mkesha mali pale na tulipokuwa na kesha mali pale eh, overnight prayers na ilikuwa national prayers na imekuwa ya baraka na a, a bishop apostle akaamua kwamba turudi tena na ile team tulikuwa nao mali pale for 3 days uh, tarehe 13 14 and 15 kwa sababu ya praise and worship na hiyo pia iko mbele yetu that will be on December na itakuwa ni ya baraka sana kando na hiyo tuendelee kujiombea tuendelee kusimama katika pengo na kuwa na wakati mzuri sana tuliamua kuja mapema tunaanza ibada zetu mapema saa tatu tumeanza na tunaendelea na maombi na ndikao ukikuja tunakuwa na himizo na tutakuwa ile neno tunakuwa na wakati mzuri ili saa nane pia tunaungana na wenzetu ama wengine tunarudi hata kwa saa nane na tunaendelea katika jina la Yesu Bible study inaendelea vizuri on Wednesdays uh, wale wamekuwa kikuja na imekuwa ni ya baraka sana. So nitafikisha hapo, nitarudisha kwa mama John ili kama kuna kuna yote anayo shuhuda atuelekeze na kisha atakuwa natukamilishia katika jina la Yesu. Na pia tuna kazi tumefanya mali hapa. Tunashukuru sana ndugu wetu, uh, ndugu wetu wa Roya ametusaidia sana. Mkiangalia hapa last week tulipokuwa hapa kulikuwa na mwanya mali pale. Sasa hiyo mwanya imezibwa na pia tukaongezea bana upandele nyingine na hata hii nilikuwa upande hii sasa at least is smart na inaonekana vizuri sana na pia tunaendelea kutengeneza kiti na kiti ya ya drumish na mwenye anapiga keyboard na tunaendelea vizuri kwa hivyo ndugu yetu tunashukuru sana hii tu sio kwa sababu Mungu ana sababu na hiyo kufanya inakuwa ni historia nilikuwa namkumbusha kwamba hata hizi meza tunakuanga nazo eh, ndugu yetu alizitengeneza alitafuta hiyo design so sisi wa tunaongezea tu tukipata top tunaongeza nyingine tunaongeza nyingine maana wakati tunakuwa na wageni ndio tunaona umuhimu yake sana sababu tunaekelea chakula tunakuwa na nini na nikisema hivyo mwaka ujao tunaanza kujiandaa pia kwa sababu ya mikutano mikubwa sana haleluya tutakuwa na mikutano mkubwa sana wakati tumekuwa na kesha last week kule Kirugoya uh, bishop akatangaza kwamba ameomba kwamba watu wabarikiwe kuna tutaopokea wageni wengi sana next year na watakuwa na kuja hapa hasa mwezi wa tatu. Na itakuwa itabidi SG wa ROE tutakuwa na yeye tupange kama fundi ikiwa tunaweza kata hii hizi hizi machuma ndio zibaki tutoe hizi ili madhabahu ikuu pande hii wakimaliza si ni kuchomelea tu na kurudisha. It will make no difference. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Ili upande hii inakuwa ni madhabahu alafu huku kwingine tunaongezea mahema. Na hizi machuma hizi mabati tukizitoa pia tunaweza angalia ni sehemu gani tunaweza tunaweza ziweka upande moja kama ukuta <laughs> bwana sifiwe eh yani tinatolewa temporary isipokuwa mimi maono yangu ni kubwa bwana asifiwe sana eh maono tunabiogwa maono ikue kubwa 
hata venye uliona tuliweka hii mabati hii tuliweka tu ikiwa ni hivi tunafaa kuwa na the same mwingine kama hiyo inainuka hivi alafu zinakuwa hivi so that madhabahu inakuwa ni upande hii inakuwa ni upande hii tunakaa tukiangalia huku ili upande ile kuna kuwa na kio na upande hii inakuwa na kio bwana asante sana unajua hapa barabara inakuwa hivi na hivi so mara nyingi ikaa hivi na watu waoni kio upande hii hata sasa ukiangalia pale ni vile we have a plan tuna mpangilio kama hiyo la zote zinahitaji tunaziombea but next year we'll be hosting very very big meetings uh, kuanzia hiyo mwezi wa 3 Januari ni maombi February watu wamerudi lakini kuanzia mwezi wa 3 na tutakuwa na mikubwa sana na vile nimeona Kerugoya huko wale wajaifika ninaomba mwaka huu wengine wetu waroe tujipange dada yetu tujipange twende ukiona huko kwenye wa tunasema eh, we are not our own we are not on our own we is such a blessing na wale wachungaji hata wa dini zingine tunaenda nao mali pale wanatamaniji tu kubaki mali pale haleluya so the people's church we are blessed na nakuru tuna watu wanatuombea so atuko peke yetu haleluya wanaesa sifiwe that is why langu ni kwaimiza so nitakaribisha uh, mama jona kuje atukamilishie na atakaribisha kama kuna ushuhuda na hata testimony nyingine na hata pia sio ushuhuda tu maombi pia ni vyema katika jina la Yesu karibu sana nasifiwe naamini ya kwamba tunaendelea vizuri katika jina la Yesu na kumekuwa na conclusion ya yale mafundisho ambayo tumefundisha siku ya leo ya kwamba ni vizuri kuchukua rejection yani kuikumbatia the way to handle rejection is to know your identity in Christ lakini hiyo ya tano ilikuwa inasema ya kwamba unafaa kukumbatia rejection with love yani unaikumbatia na upendo. Unajua maandiko wewe nasema ya kwamba upendo inafunika a multitude of sin katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So watu wanaweza wakakukataa lakini out of ile upendo yenye wewe bado unaendelea kuonyeshana uta, uta yani utawa overcome, uta overcome ile hali na Mungu ataonekana ndani yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo na ya mwisho ikasema ya kwamba rejection lazi inaonyeshana your identity in Christ. E, unajua kuna watu wengine akikataliwa anatafuta kujiripishia lakini maandiko imekuwa ikituhimiza hapo ya kwamba even revenge hata kujiripisha yani kulipisha Mungu ndio huwa anatulipishia katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Sasa hivyo kwa hivyo mtihani kubwa katika haya maisha ni vyenye wewe upokea hadi yenye unajipata ukiwa ndani yake sababu vyenye unaipokea itadhihirisha sana vyenye utamaliza katika jina la Yesu ukipokea positively basi utamaliza ukiwa na nguvu ukipokea positively ukipokea kukataliwa hata kama iko na uchungu wake hata kama iko na kilio hata kama iko na, na majuto Unajua mtu huwa anajiuliza maswali mingi. Unajiuliza eh hey, na kwani ameniona aje? Na kwani huwa ananichukulia aje? Na kwani huwa na yani unakuwa una na question marks mingi. Lakini wacha nikuambie hata katika hizo kujiuliza hizo vitu zote vyenye utahando rejection, vyenye utaipokea, itadetermine so much your outcome itakuwa namna gani na outcome yetu lazima ikuwe ya ushindi kwa sababu inadhihirisha ile kujitambua kwetu ndani ya Kristo our identity in Christ Jesus na muimbaji akaimba akasema ya kwamba i know who i am jua ya kwamba wewe ni nani hata unapojaribiwa hata unapokataliwa hata unapopitia katika uzito hata unapopitia unajua unajua kukataliwa si rahisi yani unaona eh, si si tu kama nyinyi mmewahi fika kiko kama hicho yani ati hata jamii wanaweza panga mkutano kubwa lakini wanasema wacha tusialike mama jo sababu yeye hakuna kitu atakuja kuongezea hapa si, si kama umewahi jipata hali kama hiyo 
Yaani wanaona hata wacha tusihusishe mtu fulani. Wewe unapataga tu mambo zimefanyika. Wewe unapataga tu mambo zinaendelea. Lakini wacha nikuambie hata katika hiyo hadi Mungu anakuja kukuvika na kibali chake. Anakuja kukuvika utukufu, atakupatia nguvu na utaovaka katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kuna wakati wenye watakuwa wanakutafuta kabla hawajapata kitu chochote katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu watasemaga wacha tu akue kwa sababu yeye utupa neno wacha tu akue kwa sababu akiba kuna kuaga na uwepo nyingine yenye selewi ni aina gani so wewe ni mtu mkubwa katika ufalme wa Yesu Kristo wewe ni mkubwa sana ndani ya Kristo katika jina la Yesu kwa hivyo chia la jitie nguvu kunguta mavumbi sahau yale ambayo yalikutendekea sahau kule ambapo uliwahi kataliwa na focus tia bidii endelea sijui ni kwa nini roho mtakatifu alimsaidia mchungaji kuwa na hii mafundisho ya rejection at a time like this both in our country in our family lives na katika maisha yetu kibinafsi sababu watu wengi sana saa hizi a rejection watu walimu wana reject watoto wazazi wana reject hata watoto wenye wamezaa tumeona hata watoto waki reject wazazi wao lakini hata katika hizi vitu zote let us know our identity in Christ Jesus tujue ya kwamba aliye ndani yetu ni mkuu kudiko aliye katika dunia hii katika jina la Yesu Kristo wengine watakukataa kwa sababu una pesa wengine watakukataa kwa sababu umechagua kumtumikia Mungu wengine watakukataa kwa sababu umeamua kuokoka wengine watakukataa sababu ya sababu zao lakini wacha nikuambie hata katika hizo vitu zote wewe jijue ni nani ndani ya Kristo na wacha nikuambie utakuwa mshindi utaimaji ukiwa the winner na hao watu wenye ulikuwa unaona kana kwamba hao ndio hao na kuambia utawatafuta utawakosa katika jina la Yesu Kristo ukikumbuka eh, tumepewa hiyo hiyo mambo ya Joseph kutoka Genesis chapter 37 mpaka chapter 50 Ukienda unaweza soma nyumbani utaona ya kwamba hata kama Joseph alikuwa rejected na ndugu zake hao hao walikuja kumtafuta Bwana asifiwe so inafaa itutie nguvu ya kwamba ndio saa hizi naweza kuwa nimekataliwa juu sina hela saa hizi naweza kuwa nimekataliwa juu ninakaa nyumba ya kukondesha saa hizi naweza kuwa ninakataliwa juu ya wewe jaza hizo mistari lakini ukweli ni kwamba a time is coming 